He woke up with no power. Oh my gosh. We're here. <laughs> We're not gonna make that a lot anyways. It's almost five in the morning and I'm going on a flight today. I'm at my gate right now. It's 6.15 in the morning. Your attention, please. In the interest of aviation security. Anyway, this has been the most chaotic getting on a plane ever. That's not true. So my flight leaves at 7.15 and boards at 6.30. I got here at like 5.30ish. I'm also trying to be a little incognito here because the airport is surprisingly full of people. It's a Thursday morning. I have literally never seen the security line so long in my entire life. It was back all the way through the tunnel and around back to parking. It was insanely long. Got through in like probably 30 minutes. So it wasn't actually that bad. And it was chaotic. They didn't have me take anything out of my bag. In fact, they had me put my phone in my bag. I think we're gonna start boarding soonish. It'll be almost three hour flight. And I got about four hours of sleep. So I'll be either sleeping or watching Young Royals. We've had a massive change of plans and what's been happening. Flight, totally fine. Slept for like an hour and a half. Watched two and a half episodes of the new season of Young Royals. Am I absolutely hooked? Yes, I am. So I landed and get text from Danelle, who I'm meeting in Seattle, right? My best friend, featured in the Travel to Bali vlogs. And she has missed her flight, which is fine. She was supposed to get in here at 11. Now she's gonna get here at 1.30. I struggled to figure out how to get to car rental. Both figured it out. Had to take one of like the airport buses to get there. I upgraded to a white Prius because it was only a little bit more expensive, but the gas mileage was way better and we're gonna be doing a lot of driving. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, probably Starbucks. I'm gonna upload a video and get some lunch somewhere. And I'm gonna go pick Danelle up. It's cold here. It's like 70 degrees in Minnesota yesterday. It's like 32 degrees here. That's a car driving erratically. That's fine. But yeah, that's the plan right now. A little chaotic. It's fine. We roll with the punches. We figure out a plan. We move on. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Why is it so chaotic to travel with you? I'm so happy that I <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used. I know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing? <laughs> this is your job. I have hired someone with a film degree. I have. This is a fun project. I can get behind this project. Yeah, do you want to take a look at my videos? <laughs> I can't pay you. I think it has to be this. No? Yep, it's right there. Yeah, I see yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it sound like there's a train coming? <laughs> that would be good for the vlog though. That would be. We're here. <laughs> Is there a place for us to cross yeah, over? Cross Please. I know, but it's running. This is... I'm not touching I the metal. Say, this is something I've never done. I've never crossed the tracks if there was a train coming at me. <laughs> that feels sketchy. The way I will cry if my phone falls out of my hand right now. I mean, it's not that deep. But, like, I'm not going in. It is so cold. Ah! <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Is this someone's backyard, or like, is this. Or was there a murder here? Or is there a ritual? There's... Oh, that's, that, that's definitely murderous. That's, there's definitely something in there. All the loons. <laughs> Why is it pee here on the corner? Gosh. Wait, I should just did now. This is where we're staying. Hold there's on. There's gonna be a better view. There's a glimpse. Second. There's a glimpse. Okay. Alright, show us oh, the way, Sarah. Okay. This <laughs> is like almost a vertical. I could say this is a pretty good view. Would you? Yeah. Wait. I mean it's kinda cloudy right Try now. Try not to fall. Oh wow, look at that spider. <laughs> <laughs> But wow. wow, there she is. There's our, our, our island. <laughs> oh, it's out. <laughs> okay, so we're in our, oh, hello. We're in our tree house in Mucky Muck Tail. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea how to pronounce it. It's M-U-K. 
I L T E O. I'm not even So sure. this is our little treehouse. It's um a little smaller than what the Airbnb pictures made Just it a appear. Bit. <laughs> and by a little smaller, I mean maybe ten feet across. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So here we have the door, our little balcony. Little balcony, the big stairs that we each climbed up. There's the Puget Sound. <laughs> Again, I don't know. We have little coffee station, water. TV, and I think it has Netflix. Fireplace that actually produces heat, which is good because it's not warm here. Popcorn that I just bought. Binoculars, window, wet coats, um, little couch, cute little lamps, and our bed. Yep. <laughs> That's literally <A> very hard <laughs> bed. <laughs> It's like 9 o'clock after I picked up Danelle from the airport, we tried to find this beach that's technically on like private property, <laughs> but we went anyway and there's like a parking lot so we hiked down past this person's like cabin. There's people's houses down there, like they have to park up and then walk through these railroad tracks to get to their house. Went to our tree house and then a little later we went to a dinner at this place called Tapped. I don't know how to say the name of the town we're in. Tapped Macutio. I'm for sure not saying it right. It was really super good. We split a warm brownie sundae. So good. I made Danelle watch the first two episodes of Young Royals because I like getting other people obsessed with the shows and things that I watch. This is our bathroom. So it's like attached to the house, not to the tree house. The tree house is separate, but this bathroom is just for our use. Just a small little bathroom, but it's pretty nice. I've been up for so long. I woke up at 4.20 this morning and now it's like 9.30, which is really 11.30, which means I've been up for almost 20 hours. So I'm gonna go to bed. We're gonna get up at seven tomorrow and drive to Mount Rainier. That's the plan. seven and we're gonna drive to Mount Rainier today. First we are going to go to this restaurant called Mukitio's Speedway Cafe. They have so jumbo milkshakes. Like yes I'm getting a milkshake like for breakfast. Tortilla. They have a bunch of different flavors and you can pick multiple of them to put in a milkshake. So that's what we're at Gabby for breakfast. Being mm -hmm. aesthetic. Give me opening this loop. Look at that focus. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Madame. Mm a lot you go to a lot of trails why don't you have good waterproof 
hiking shoes? And I would say, that's a great question. <laughs> These are the most waterproof shoes that I own and my feet are wet. <laughs> There's no trail. pouring pretty much all day. There's Longmire, the main place that's open right now in the winter, and then Paradise is further down the road, but that road was closed today, so our options for what we could do were limited. We went in and asked the guide, and she told us two trails basically that we could do. We did the Wander Wonderland Trail. It was pouring the whole time. It wasn't cold necessarily. I had a decent number of layers on, so it was fine, but it was wet. I need to get waterproof hiking boots. I really do. I can't hike in semi-water resistant white nikes i can't i can't do it like i i need to be able to actually do real hiking hello so it's uh 10 30 at night ish and there's a massive wind storm going on outside the lights are flickering and the whole tree house keeps moving so you know just thought i should document that it's really loud things keep slamming into the doors that's all okay i'm filming this on snapchat because my regular camera doesn't have like a front-facing camera in case you haven't noticed it is dark in the treehouse it's dark massive massive storm last night right before i went to bed the power went out i had this big flash and then all the power went out luckily we had to heat up decently beforehand so it's not too cold in here yet but i texted the airbnb person i was like there's no power. It'll be too cold tonight if the power's not out. I feel like it's a city-wide thing because it was a really, really big storm. We tried to like get all of our clothes like hung up in the back of the car so that they would dry more. I had to like put my shoes right under the vent so that they would dry the most because they were soaked. But we went to Skull Beer Hall. Dylan wanted to go and it's like a Vikings themed. All the food and drinks and stuff were all Nordic, which is actually pretty cool. We had a good time. Recap of our today so far. Yeah. So we woke up with no power in our treehouse, like zero. Very cool. It's not not that warm without. Yes, it is. Thank you. So we got dressed in the dark. It's fun. We took the ferry across to Woodby Island, where they also don't have any power. Like as, the whole island. As you can see, we have there's candlelit breakfast. Candlelit dinner. <laughs> It's so romantic. Why do we always do romantic things? No. <laughs> There's so many trees down and roads blocked and like yeah. we gotta take some detour. I really try my best, but we can't cross that one. <laughs> we can't go under it. There's just so many branches on the whole road, like on every road. Yeah, a lot of branches. We went to Possession Point State Park. Which is on possession of Saturn. Oh, okay. Happening live. Happening live. Shall we do a taste test now? Yes. That looks so unique. They're definitely different from any other glazed donut I've had. Yeah. It's like mixed between regular glazed and like cake. Oh, interesting. It's still good though. So. Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smells really good. So what on this hike? Oh yes. <laughs> three fourths mile out. Three fourths mile back. But it was it's all uphill. It was like all uphill. There's trees that we had to climb over because they fell down. What do you think? Can you go over that one? 
<laughs> let's let's try. Ooh, ooh. There's an owl. Hello. He's still looking at us. It splits into two and you can take like one path and then they meet up. So we took the one that's supposed to have a lookout. Not much of a lookout. We had to climb over some down trees. But then we circle back and all of a sudden we end up back where we were towards the beginning. There's a, a water fountain had passed it and then we are suddenly back to where we started from. It's like from edible the, movie. Actually. We came from the same direction that we had started. Yeah, it was really weird. It was like it was it, a time, time loop. loop. I don't know what to say. Like, I genuinely don't understand. Now we are at Whidbey Donuts. What are you getting, Janelle? I'm getting a breakfast sandwich, and instead of bread, it's gonna be served on a glazed donut, which is a glazed donut, as Sarah has already demonstrated. But it has like the glaze cut off, and then it's grilled. So I'm intrigued by this. I hope it's not too sweet. But there's like no lights on in here. We have no our heat. candlelight, we got not really any heat. So far, no plans have gone correctly <laughs> today. That's okay. <laughs> our candlelight breakfast. Look at that, the wind blew that front of the building out. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. <laughs> what a <to> roll in. <laughs> Why? look like Disney. Have I not risked my life enough on this trip? <laughs> Red flag for our entire trip. Just a big no sign. Maybe this one. That one's at least red. Yeah, but I don't think that I think that means not right. It's very hard. Ah. I'll wash it off maybe. <laughs> so we're at the Green Bank Farm, which has lots of cool cheese shop that I was excited about. Pie shop. Oh, that was a bunny. <laughs> Did you get impaled? Was impaled. <laughs> oh gosh. It's supposed to have lots of cool like local foods and farmer's market vibes basically. We get there and of course power is still out, but the door to the cheese shop is open. There's no lights on there, but I didn't really expect there to be anyway, so I didn't really think about it. We get in there, we're kind of looking around. I'm about to buy some postcards. And the lady comes out from the back, she's like, oh, I'm not open right now, and leaves. And it was like, I was actually about to give you money, but okay. Maybe you could have, you could have actually said that. I wonder if, like, you would have said that, if she would have let you buy it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the whole place is closed, which is sad because I was really excited about this. Green Bank Farm. Power is still out on the entire Woodby Island. Power is still out at our treehouse, and <laughs> we don't know when it will be back on so we might be having a cold night the host says she's gonna try to bring us a battery if the power doesn't go on so we'll see fingers crossed, fingers crossed. and in case anything else wants to go wrong <laughs> but i do have some lean berries oh wow that might be poisonous <laughs> so of course we would start on this this trip with all of this happening 
This is now is a good time to try potentially poisonous berries. Mm, right. We're not gonna make it out alive anyways. Yes, <laughs> we won't be here at the end of this trip. because it's so windy and we did not account for the fact that there are mountains and clouds. Go do your duty. So last night we went to this restaurant called No Way Jose in Oak Harbor on Whidbey Island and they actually had power there. It was really good. It's like an American slash Mexican kind of restaurant. We were at Green Bank Farm and our Airbnb host texted us and said, hey, I'm so sorry. It doesn't look like the power is going to be back on. I can give you a refund for two of your nights. And then 10 minutes later, she texted, hey, power is on, but you can still get the refund. So that's awesome, Stasia. That is so kind of you. Then we drove all the way north to the top of Whidbey Island and past the Deception Pass Bridge, Deception Pass State Park. And then we drove the hour and 15 minutes back to our treehouse. We watched some more Young Royals last night. Here it's raining, it's raining again today. It actually wasn't raining yesterday for the first time this whole trip. So that was really nice to get a day free of rain. We were packing up and then we we're gonna go be going to the airport. Janelle's flight isn't until tomorrow. So she has a hotel near Seattle for tonight. That's all. So don't forget to like and subscribe for way more content. I have so much content coming up. I'm gonna be vlogging everything semester at sea. My family's gonna be going on a cruise in the Caribbean over Christmas. So I'll be vlogging that as well. Thank you to everybody who has ever watched one of my vlogs. It really means a lot to me. I love all the continued support that I get all the time. So, bye.